After 500 days, we are delighted to welcome back the return of Foz Rock Super 6 Rugby. I've come down to Golden Acre to chat to Heriot's Rugby assistant coach, Finn Gillis. We chat all things Super 6, preview the upcoming season, talk tactics, and he gave me some insight into some of the best players to watch this season. Hi, I'm Finn Gillis and I am the assistant coach at Heriot's Rugby Club Super 6. So Finn, to start with, can you just tell us a little bit about your career, how you got into rugby, both your playing and then into your coaching career? So I played a whole variety of sports as a kid and fell in love with rugby when I was probably 12 or 13 um, and played ever since. I was at Haddington Rugby Club. But yeah, I came to Heriot's when I was 17 and played, I think probably for four or five years after that here. Um, I signed professional, um, then after the 20 World Cup I was at Glasgow Warriors and then played Scotland Sevens and during that time they had the, the, obviously the release programme so I got to play for a ton of uh, premiership teams. I got to play for a load of clubs when I was, um, when I was playing pro rugby. I then was coach at Glasgow Hawks um, for I think maybe three or four years um, and then obviously unsuccessful in the Super 6 bid. Um, I wanted to be involved with Super 6. As soon as it was announced, it was something that I wanted to be a part of. All roads lead back to, to Goldmaker. So um, I was lucky enough at the time where Kieran Beattie was here. Um, we were both doing our level four at the same time. Um, and we kind of hatched a plan that we would, uh, we would both do this together. And obviously Beats went on to, to Sevens, which was great to see. Then um, Phil Smith and myself, uh, we, we did this last year. And you, you mentioned um, working with, with different coaches and stuff in your career so far. How has it been working um, alongside Ned since he's come in? So Ned's come from uh, Hong Kong. So it's a completely different style of learning. So you, what you find from Scottish coaches is we, we all tend to attend the same CPDs. We all go to the same workshops. So we all have a lot of the same learning from the same coaches, whereas with Ned coming in from Hong Kong, he's bringing in a whole batch of fresh information, which is really good. And the thing at Heriot is it's always about retaining players. It's not necessarily about going and recruiting hundreds of players. It's about retaining players um, because we've got so much quality here. Um, it's trying to keep, keep the guys around rather than necessarily going and finding loads of new guys. So that was the big thing was to work really hard. And then when we do add guys, it's, it's adding real quality. Um, and Ned was able to do that. I think it was a really hard task for him. We obviously worked together, but it, was, it wasn't an easy task for him and he had to search far and wide and, and he did that and he, he's done a great job. There's a lot of players that have gone on to kind of bridge that gap and go on and make that step up to play professionally. Who in your squad, who are the kind of shining lights for you so far? I suppose somebody who's maybe not on people's radar would be somebody like Ronan Sedak, who last year was outstanding. Um, really stepped up from Edinburgh Rockies. He's a, he's a super talented rugby player. I can imagine whatever he does, he'll be excellent at. How important was Cammy Hutchinson for you last season and obviously going on to get his first appearances for Ed Edinburgh as well? How, how important was he for you last season? Did he get four man of the match appearances? Something like that. He was... He strikes me as one of these guys that's going to... Whatever level he steps up to, he'll be comfortable with. Don't think we're going to see tons of them this year. Um, which is a shame for us, but it's great for him. And as a club, that's the kind of, we want to support that. And, and we're really chuffed for him. But if we do get him, we will be very happy to have him back. For right, when you take on Vermeer Bears in that first game, it will be over 500 days since he played a competitive Super 6 match. How excited is the coaching team and the players just to actually get back playing rugby? And that is an astonishing fact. That is an astonishing stat, 500 days. We are very excited. Um, and you can tell in training, we just, everybody needs a game. We're just ever boiling over. There's, there's no such thing like a game. Nothing focuses the mind like a game. You know, we, we've still got bits, final bits of the jigsaw to put in place, but we, are, we're, we, we need it now. We're yeah. excited for it. And what kind of challenge do you expect from the Bermure Bears on that, on that Friday night, in that first game of the season? Yeah, what did I expect? Very organised, ready to go, some exciting players, some exciting individuals. <laughs>